We're going to get our service started. Take your hymn books, turn to 445. 445. When you find your spot, if you can, stand with us as we sing all three verses of He's a Wonderful Savior to Me. 445. I was lost in sin, but Jesus rescued me. He's a wonderful Savior to me. I was bound by fear, but Jesus set me free. He's a wonderful Savior to me. For He's a wonderful Savior to me. He's a wonderful Savior to me. I was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. He's a wonderful Savior to me. He's a true, so patient and so kind. He's a wonderful Savior to me. Everything I need in Him I always find. He's a wonderful Savior to me. For He's a wonderful Savior to me. He's a wonderful Savior to me. I was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. He's a wonderful Savior to me. Dear grows the love of Jesus day by day. He's a wonderful Savior to me. Sweeter is His praise while pressing on my way. He's a wonderful Savior to me. For He's a wonderful Savior to me. He's a wonderful Savior to me. I was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. He's a wonderful Savior to me. Amen. He sure is, isn't he? Amen. It's good to see everybody this evening. Good to welcome you back. Appreciate those of you being back. I, I talked to the Tillmans today. They're out of town, you know. But uh, anyway, I know we got some not feeling good, not able to be here. But it's good, good to have each of you here tonight. And I soon I asked Brother Bryant to preach, and some of you came back that I don't never see on a Sunday night. So oh, I know how you feel about me now. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I, I used to always never cease to amaze me at uh, Bon Air when I'd have Michael preach. Man, all the grand grandparents, aunts and uncles, man, I had about 30 visitors. Like, well, gee, thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd known all that, I would have came. I'd have went and visited around the corner and went to Second Baptist up there with <laughs> I'm teasing. But that's why you didn't announce it ahead of time. <laughs> 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 Trying to figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> you remember in your hey, live stream. <laughs> Good to see everybody tonight. Good to be here. Let's go ahead and start with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. And uh, Lord, we just thank you for loving us. Lord, we thank you for the cross where you bore our sins. God, I pray that you bless the service tonight. Lord, just uh, work in our midst, work in our hearts. God, draw us all closer to you. Lord, we just thank you for everything you do for us. I pray that you be with all those that's not able to be here, Lord, for some that's traveling, or some that's at home. I pray for Denise, Lord, just think of her, the uh, pain she's having, Lord, and, and those others, Lord, just pray that you be with each one that's not able to be here. Lord, just pray that you just uh, be with those able to watch by live stream. And I pray that you bless the services. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I'll go ahead. You can be seated. Um, not really a lot as far as announcements, but we do want to, I uh, just mentioned we'll be leaving out at 9.30 in the morning, headed up to Central Georgia Jubilee at Calvary Baptist and Gray. So I'm looking forward to taking a van full of folks up there and uh, good preaching, good singing, good food, good fellowship, and, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good crowd turn out Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I know everybody can't go every day and all that. I understand we'll just run it and who can go goes and who can't. Did I say go, go from the pulpit? <laughs> <laughs> but I, <laughs> there you go. He's got my back over there. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm just looking forward to a good week. And uh, y'all just be praying for those. There's a lot of different ones on the on the prayer list. Amen, brother. Right. 
Okay, 409. 409. You may remain seated as we sing all three verses of As the Deer. Amen. As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield, to you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You're my friend, and you are my brother, even though you are a king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. I want you more than gold or silver, only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. You alone are my strength, my shield, to you alone my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. Amen. And then over just a few pages to 414. 414, all I need. When you find your spot, if you can, stand with us for the last congregational sort of of the evening, and then uh, we'll sing all four verses of 414. Jesus Christ is made to me all I need, all I need. He alone is all my plea. He is all I need. Wisdom, righteousness, and power, holiness forevermore. My redemption, full and sure, He is all I need. Jesus is my all in all, all I need, all I need. While He keeps, I cannot fail. All I need Wisdom, righteousness, and power Holiness forevermore My redemption, full and sure He is all I need He's the treasure of my soul All I need, all I need He has cleansed and forevermore my redemption full and sure 
He is all I need. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Well, hey, man. I don't know if you picked up on the little secret or not, but I asked Brother Bryant to preach tonight, and he kicked me off my platform, said I can't sit up here with him, so I'll just take my toys and go sit down. <laughs> don't you touch this water. <laughs> No, it is fresh, seriously, from this morning. It's freshly lukewarm. <laughs> so, you, nice and right. Hey, preach, brother. Well, good evening. I'm good to, good to see you guys back here with us. I know I already said that, but I'm just trying to get my bearings here. Um, you can open your book, your Bible, to the book of Psalms. You say, which one? Well, there's a bunch of them. Um, we're going to go through a bunch of psalms tonight, and you're like, oh, my goodness. He gives him a chance to preach, and we're going to be here till 8.30. No, we won't be. It'll probably be like 8.15. But the, uh, in the book of Psalms, we see a, a lot of themes, a lot of things uh, constantly uh, repeating themselves. But one of them, the one that I want to uh, pull out this evening and focus on is singing. There's so much in the book of Psalms about singing. And this isn't a necessarily what the Holy Spirit does with it is, is between you and Him, but uh, this isn't necessarily a message to step on your toes or to, or to make you feel bad or, or, to, or to admonish you, but instead to encourage you and to encourage all of us to sing. It doesn't matter uh, if you sing in your car, if you sing in your shower, if you sing uh, while you're doing your duties or while you're doing uh, whatever you're doing. Because when we sing, we're praising the Lord. Amen. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to read through different psalms uh, in numerical order. If you are taking notes and you miss something, you're, you're more than welcome. I can send you this note is, is on my iPad or I can just give you the the references later, whatever, how you want to do it, it doesn't matter. But there's, there's a bunch of them here, but we're going to just move right on through them as we look at some of these psalms. And I would encourage you, this is going to sound not so great, to not try to keep up flipping your, your Bible pages because it's going to be kind of rapid fire. You're welcome to, but don't get bogged down in that as far as, because I'm going to read you the Scripture, so maybe you could just stay, you could just pay attention, listen, Hear the scripture, jot down the reference so you can go back and look it up again later if you'd like. But I, I titled this, What Station Do You Listen To? When you're in your car or in your vehicle or at your home, look, I love to sit at the table when I'm doing anything in the kitchen, uh, whether I'm cooking or cleaning or I'm um, uh, studying or I'm just there, I'm eating. I like to put on music. I love the background music. I love something that just fills my, those empty spots in my head, which is a lot of them, but it just fills it up and helps me to just kind of... Now, Brandy, she can't do that. I thought it's so odd when we first got married. She can't just have something playing. And she, she's, not, she's not wired that way. Um, it's not that she can't, she just doesn't. And that's okay. But for me, I like to have... Uh, if I'm studying for Sunday school or for a message or something, uh, I use Rejoice Streaming, and they're out of Pensacola, Florida, and they have like seven channels on their app, and one of them is called um, Still Waters, and it's all instrumental. So I'm not tempted to sing along sometimes, uh, as I am with some of the others. But Psalm 717 says, I will praise the Lord according to His righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. I'm not necessarily going to comment on each one of these either. I just want us to hear them. I want you to hear what the Psalms say about singing unto the Lord. I'll, I'll read that one again. I will praise the Lord according to His righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Psalm 9-2. I will be glad and rejoice in Thee. I will sing praises to Thy name, O thou most high. Psalm 911. Sing praises to the Lord which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. 
Just, just some awesome things about singing praises. You may be saying, well, let me interrupt myself and say, you might be going, oh, but I don't sing well, Brian. I know, it's okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's that part of, that's not a requirement. Y'all say, well, oh, well, you know, oh, you're going to say make a, the, the Bible verse that says make a joyful noise. I actually took that one back out of my notes, but it is Psalm 100, verse 1. And other places, but it says make a joyful noise unto the Lord. If you're joyful and you're singing unto the Lord, it pleases Him. It puts our heart and it puts our minds in a place where it should be. Psalm 13, 6. I will sing unto the Lord because He hath dealt bountifully with me. I think we each could say these things in our own heart, different, part, different times in our life, but He has dealt bountifully with me. Psalm 18, 49. Therefore will I give thanks unto Thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto Thee. Would you do that at work? No. Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> Would you do that at work? If you're, um, and, I'm, and I don't mean this in a derogatory way, but among the heathen, among those that don't believe in the Lord, or most likely is where, where we work, will you sing praises? I was uh, grinding one day on my hands and knees and had my seven-inch grinder. I was grinding, and uh, I was just singing along to whatever was going on, whatever station I had it on, um, Christian station in my uh, headset. And Tommy told me later, he said, boy, you sure were singing, oh, great thou art, or whatever. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, well, I could hear you. I'm like, man, I had a vacuum and a grinder going. But, you know, and I'm not calling Tommy a heathen. If, if, you're, if Tommy, if you're watching this, I'm not calling you a heathen. I'm just saying, do you sing at work? Do you sing when you're out and about? If you're humming going up and down the aisles or waiting on your food at Cracker Barrel, you know, sing. Sing unto the Lord. Psalm 31, verse 4. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of His. Give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Y'all, I know this is seeming monotonous as the way I'm going through this, but hang in there. It changes up in just a few minutes. Psalm 33, 3. Sing unto Him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud voice. Sing unto Him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud voice. Psalm 47, 6. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our King. Sing praises. Are y'all seeing a common thread here? I hope that you're seeing that He wants us to sing praises to Him. He wants us to glorify Him. And it does that. It glorifies Him. It points others to Him as well. Psalm 47, 7. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. Psalm 57, 7. My heart is fixed, O God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give you praise. You know, Matt Herbster, maybe some of you know the name. He was the uh, director of the Wilds Christian Camp for some time and worked there before that. I'm not sure what he's doing right now. But uh, probably 10 years ago, Matt Herbster's wife, Julie Herbster, uh, came, uh, was diagnosed with, I believe it was... Uh, I believe it was pancreatic, if not maybe colon cancer, and it was rapid. And it took her life in about nine months from the time they, they learned about it. She, would, then, she was fairly young. I believe they had either four or five children still at home. And so it was a difficult, difficult time for Matt Herbster. But when we went up to take the kids one year, uh, the second day there, the, we, all the sponsors, we have a meeting every day, and Matt Herbster came in to speak to us and encourage us and challenge us from God's Word. And he said in that meeting, because he, he, it had just happened in the last year or so, and he knew everybody was asking him about it and talking about it and thinking about him. And he said the songs of faith were key to him. Not, not diminishing from the Word of God, but he said the songs of faith, being able to just sing and rejoice and praise his Heavenly Father really helped him through the, the, the passing and, and the loss of his wife. Take your hymn books. We're going to do this often tonight, as you see. We've got several tabs here. 
Take your hymn books. Go to 399. We're going to sing. Everything we'll sing from here on out will be just a cappella um, because that way Miss Sandra doesn't have to sit at the piano all evening. And I didn't tell her any of these songs, so she would be like, oh, okay. 399. Um, kind of choruses is what I was shooting for, but... Um, but this one's more of a song, but it is a chorus as well, so y'all sing along with me. I'm just wanting to interject some songs because I want you to have songs in your heart and in your mind that you can just, just pop off at any moment and sing while you're riding in the car. Jeremiah, you got a long ride tomorrow. So even if somebody's riding with you, I mean, you can just sing these songs and praise the Lord, and it'd be something great. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, Still I will follow, though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Psalm fifty nine sixteen. But I will sing of thy power, yea, I will sing aloud of of the mercy in the morning, of thy mercy in the morning, for thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Psalm 61, 8. So will I sing praise unto thee, unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Psalm 66, 2. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Psalm 67, 4. O oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Y'all don't watch Fox News or some other news channel and worry about what's going on. God's in control and sing praises to him about it. Let that push you into singing praises to him. Psalm 68, 32. Sing unto God, ye kingdoms of the earth. O sing praises unto the Lord. Psalm 69, 30. I will praise the name of God with a song, and I will magnify Him with thanksgiving. Psalm 71, 22. I will also praise thee with the psaltery, even thy truth, O my God, Unto thee will I sing with the harp, O thou Holy One of Israel. Do you play an instrument? Use it to glorify the Lord. Play it for a special. Play with the piano. Don't hide the talent God has given you to use to glorify Him.
Thank you, Miss Sandra. You know, just what what do you, can you play something? Because if you can, don't hide it. Oh, I don't play very well. You know what? Sunday nights are a great place, and Wednesday nights are a great place to get your comfort level up. Use that talent to play to play for the Lord. Psalm 75, verse 9. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. Psalm 81, 1. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Psalm 89, 1. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. About 15 years ago, uh, my wife, my wife, my mom had um, a little girl riding in the car with her. Uh, they were coming back from Florida, and my mom was having some terrible headaches. And it turned out to be that that was when she had her mini strokes. Uh, was driving back from Florida that day, and she she was telling the story just the other day because we went Thursday and watched this young lady graduate from high school, and it's just amazing that it's been that long and she's grown that she's that that grown up. But mom was saying how uh, her name's Caitlin. And how she was sitting in the back seat, and she just, unbeknownst to my mom, but from, for like an hour and a half, she just sang, Jesus loves me, over and over and over again. It's great to have a chorus like that in your mind, in your heart, to sing and to praise the Lord. Amen. What a great song from, from our youth, from our when we're kids that we can learn and remember and sing those songs. Sing them unto the Lord. Right. Psalm 98, verse 5. I'm sorry, Psalm 92, verse 1. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Psalm 95, verse 1. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Psalm 96, 1. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. And verse 2 says, Sing unto the Lord, bless His name. Show forth His salvation from day to day. Psalm 98, verse 1. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For He hath done marvelous things. His right hand and His holy arm hath gotten him the victory. Turn your hymn books to 563. Another good one just to have stuck in your heart and in your mind throughout the day. 563. Some of these you may not even need to look at, but I want to give you the number just so you can in case you need to. God is so good. God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to me. He died for me, He died for me, He died for me. He's so good to me. He loves me so. He loves me so. He loves me so. He's so good to me. He's coming soon. He's coming soon. He's coming soon. He's so good to me. 
Psalm 98.5 says, Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm. Psalm 101, verse 1, I will sing of the mercy and judgment. Unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. Psalm 104, 33, I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. Uh, hopefully, just finished up a job in North Macon that took quite a bit longer than I was anticipating. Had quite a few little headaches in it uh, that just were, were really rearing up at me and not, not things just weren't going the way I had expected them, anticipated them. But on uh, Friday, it was probably about 6 o'clock, I told Tommy, I said, look, just go on home. I'm going to be here for a little while. I got to I got to figure out what I'm going to do to 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 make this right, to make this lay down and do what it's supposed to do to make the, make it something I'm I'm pleased with to hand over to the home, to the homeowner. And I I studied that floor and I uh, walked that floor. It's a big garage, about 2,200 square feet, and it just very open concrete floors, of course, because I'm you know, that's all I deal with, and walls that didn't have any uh, absorption on it. And I'm just walking and I'm, I'm praying. I'm, 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 I laid on the floors for a little while because I sat up and leaned up against the wall for a little while. And, and then I uh, got over to the other side of the, and I just looked across. It's about 50 feet across uh, and it's about 40 feet deep ish, somewhere in there. And I just said, man, the acoustics in here are awesome. And I just wanted to worship the Lord for a few minutes and get my mind off of the problem I was having in that floor. By the way, I don't know if it pick up, so I probably won't and throw Justin into a what are you doing fit. But the, the breezeway has an has amazing acoustics, doesn't it, Livy? I see you smiling. You can just stand in the breezeway and just when nobody's here, or here you can just sing. The kitchen does as well. And I think it's got to do with the, the hard floors. But I stood in that, that garage and I sang this song that it's it's just a chorus that uh, just kind of Give me a little, all right. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving. I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Boy, you sing that a couple of times, the acoustics and things, and you just go, oh, Lord. You know, it gave me wisdom. And I was able to, I, I left, I ended up staying there till about 10.30, where I was, yeah, about 10.30, I left there, finished up what I needed to do that day. We went back Saturday, spent the whole day Saturday. Well, we came to men's, I came to men's meeting and then went over there after that. And, and the Lord just, just helped me know what to do. Homeowner's out of town, so pray with me that when he gets back, I send him pictures. He's a very hands-on kind of guy. Uh, but I send him pictures and stuff. He seems to like what I sent. And, and he's watched the process through the way. He knew the problems that I was having, but just kind of that reset of singing that song and just worshiping the Lord. Psalm 105, verse 2. Sing unto Him. Sing psalms unto Him. Talk ye of His wondrous works. Psalm 108, verse 1. O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise, even with my glory. Psalm 108, verse 3. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. Psalm 135, verse 3. Praise, ye the, Lord, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto His name, for it is pleasant. Psalm 138, verse 1. 
I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise to thee. Do you sing around other people? Why not? Because we should. The Bible tells us to sing unto Him. We can praise His name to others by singing praises to God wherever we are. Again, it does. It, I understand. I do understand that there are people that are not musically inclined. I understand that. But boy, just to sing His praises puts our heart in a better place, puts our mood in a better place, and you never know what it might. It might touch somebody else. Just like bowing your head and praying at a meal at a restaurant, you never know what encouragement it might be to somebody else that sees you or hears you. Right. Psalm 144, verse 9. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God. Upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises to thee. Psalm 146, 2. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Psalm 147, 1. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant, and praise is comely. Amen. Psalm 147, 7. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God. And the last one I have is Psalm 149, verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and His praise in the congregation of saints. How fitting. Take your hymn books and turn to 704. 704. There's several choruses right here at the end of the hymn book that... Uh, a couple of them I'm not familiar with, and so obviously we won't sing those. Some of them are a little more just not fitting for what I wanted to do tonight. But 704, uh, we'll sing the chorus, What a Mighty God We Serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him, heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve. Now turn the page to 705. 705. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's Word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? And then look at 707 across the way. Precious name, oh how sweet, hope of earth and joy of heaven. Precious name, oh how sweet, hope of earth and joy of heaven. And then turn the page, the last one in our hymn book, 708. I invite you to stand with me as we sing this, and then I'll close this in a word of prayer, and we will be dismissed. 708, This World Is Not My Home. This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Father, thank you so much that this world is not our home. We can sing about it. We can praise you about it. And Lord, just thank you for the gift of singing. Thank you for the gift of music. Lord, thank you for that that we can use to praise your name. I pray, God, that tonight we would have been encouraged and just kind of revitalized in the, in the fact of how we need to sing praises unto you, whether it's in our congregation like here or in our cars or at home. Lord, just help us to be, um, it just is good for the soul. And thank you. Thank you for that. I pray you dismiss us with your blessing. Keep us safe as we go our separate ways this evening. And Lord, I just pray that this week we would go about 
We remember how much you love us. And then, Lord, that we would sing praises about that so that others around us would want what we have in Christ. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, he kicks me off my platform and then he finishes 20 minutes early. Made me look back. <laughs>